Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 152 and we are going to talk about making smart decisions idea in practice. When we talk about idea in practice, obviously we are concerned with the fact that we have to red flags our biases and we have to see that our decision making cup or kaha effect ho hai. So for that concern, remember that we have to be careful when making decisions and when putting the red flags during our decision making process because those red flags are going to identify that we are biased wo kaha par ho rahe For that purpose, remember that we have to lay out the range of options that what are the alternatives available and how can we deal with those alternatives. The second thing is that we have to understand that we have to make the list of the decision makers that who are involved in the decision making and who are there basically to guide us to tell us that what are the right options to be chosen for achieving our particular objectives. Another important thing is that which, which we have to understand is basically that we have to focus upon the decision makers that how they are going to make the decision and who is the most important person in that whole process. So we have to choose one decision maker who is going to make the right decision at the right time and the person who is basically able to control his or her emotions and who is able to basically overcome the biases and the prejudice attitude. Remember that when we are going to take the decisions and we are going to put the red flags on our biases, there are certain things that we again need to go through in detail. The first one is that we have to see that we have to see our attachments which are distortion in our decision making. So we have to be careful about those associations and affiliations. The second thing we have to understand that we have to look at the things, the clues, the signals, the stimulus which we are misleading information so that we can overcome that misleading information. Ko wo overcome kar the third important thing is that we have to the most influential person ko dekhna hai who is there to take the decision as a filter which next person hoga, which is going to do the audit of the decision to find out that we have no biases to nahi ki, ya humne par merit ko violate to nahi kiya. and then we have to see that when we are identifying our biases we have kin kin biases ko red flag kiya, or then we have to overcome karne ke liye, hum kya amli wo use kar rahe hain. Ye tamam kaam karne se, we will be better able to understand that which particular decision we are going to take and how that decision can be more optimum, can be more better, can create creativity and innovation and can give organizations better outcome and performance. Dear students, agar hum is sari baat ko conclude kare, to yaad rakhye ga ke decision making ek insaan kar raha hai aur ek insaan ke paas different associations, affiliations mojood hoti hai. A human can be biased at certain moments or usko apni biases ko understand karna hai taake kahi par bhi wo aisi galti na kare jisse ki organization is going to have trouble in the long run. Thank you.